Shiloh and Shador Sanders, along with Travis Hunter, Inc. and NIL deal with another black owned company, uh, Actively Black. I'm really excited about this. I want to talk about this because I think this is a big deal. Them signing with all these black owned companies is just it's just awesome, man. Let's talk about it after the bump. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload all the time. Now, Shadur Sanders, Travis Hunter, Shiloh Sanders, they've all been racking up the NIL deals off the field. They've been balling with well, Shadur, been balling on the field. Shiloh came back this past weekend, had a decent game, and then Travis will be back against campbell for the homecoming game so only really shadur has been balling on the field but all three of these guys have been balling off of the field i'm gonna show let, let's go ahead and take it over to the on three guys and you guys know i'm not crazy about on three but on three keeps track of nil and on three stays on top of the nil stuff and so it says travis hunter shadur and shiloh sanders signed with actively black it says actively black has expanded its nil footprint to the college football ranks. The sportswear company has signed three Jackson State football players, Travis Hunter and brother Shadur and Shiloh Sanders. Each of the three athletes will be included in marketing campaigns from the brand celebrating black style and culture. You guys know. Now, if you know me, if you know anything about me, I'm all about B1, meaning black first. And this always gets me hyped. This always gets me going. It says, founded by former Houston star and NBA player Lanny Smith, Actively Black is an athleisure company that donates and invests a portion of its proceeds to address healthier food options in the black community. I just got to, it's more to read, but I got to clap it up for that, man. I got to clap it up for that because one of the things that is killing our people more than anything is the way we eat. Let's continue on. Physical training and exercise, mental health and social justice initiatives, and HBCU athletes. Signing the Sanders brothers and Hunter marks the first NIL move, uh, marks the first NIL move by the company with a historically black college and university athletes. It also lives up to the brand's commitment to give back to HBCU students. You guys hear my voice crack a little bit? What's going on? Anyway, <laughs> while terms of the agreement were not provided, each have signed, quote, a long-term deal with Actively Black. This is not the first NIL agreement that the company has signed, though North Carolina women's basketball star Deja Kelly became the first collegiate ambassador for the brand earlier this year this is huge for Shadur this is huge for Travis this is huge for Shiloh this is huge for all of those guys and what they're currently doing in the NIL space in the NIL space because we know NIL is still relatively new we know NIL is a big deal and we knew going to an HBCU one of the uh, one of the talking points for detractors would be Oh, you're not going to get any NIL deals if you go to the black college. No, there are plenty of black brands. And this is something I called upon. I'm going to keep reading, but I want to get this out right here because you guys know I can get to rant and I want to get this out. One of the things I called upon when you to a way to continue to grab big time players is that the black owned companies have to step up. The black owned companies have to show that they are willing to invest in the black athlete, just like. The schools have to do their part in recruiting the black athlete. The black owned companies have to do their best in recruiting the black athletes and dishing out the money to have them advertise their brand. If you do it for a white athlete, why not do it for the black athletes, especially the ones that are impacting the culture, especially the ones who are high profile as a Shiloh Sanders, Shador Sanders, and none other than Travis Hunter. Quote, my goal in coming to JSU was really to inspire the next generation and shine a light on undeniable talent in HBCUs within our communities, Shador Sanders said in a statement. Quote, that's why this partnership with Actively Black is so important. It just reinforces my purpose. I couldn't be happier about working with Lanny 
and the actively black crew. It's going to be amazing. And it goes on to talk about you know, Travis Hunter being five, a five star player choosing an HBCU, uh, Shador Sanders and some of his brands it says, quote, mainstream brands have long reaped the benefits from black talent culture and style without recirculating dollars back into the communities they profited from. This is from Actively Black uh, founder Lanny Smith. Smith said at Actively Black, we are forging new pathways to serve as a blueprint to black communities to thrive. Travis Shador and Shiloh made history with their decision to disrupt the status quo and bring their exceptional talents to Jackson State University. Yo, shout out to Lanny, man. I, I want, if anybody has any contact info with Lanny Smith, tell him to hit me up, man. I want to talk to him about this partnership. I want to talk to him about his company. And it was kind of like a precursor of something where Actively Black was going to take place. Because if you guys know, if you follow Coach Prime and the JSU social media stuff, we saw Coach Prime wearing Actively Black uh, on uh, wearing it during one, of, you know, one of the times he was talking to the team, I actually think actively black posted it on their uh, social media account. So if I scroll down, this is about are you going to go? It says Coach Prime wearing actively black vintage hoodie and joggers, and a lot of things Coach Prime does is strategic. And so he had on the hoodie and joggers, and I was thinking like, hmm, I wonder if he has a deal with them. If he had a deal, but it turns out his sons. And his superstar five star cornerback should do. I mean, Travis does do have a deal, so you know he don't do he don't do nothing on accident. A lot most of his things he does is pretty strategic, and I, I really uh, congratulations to them because every single deal we've seen Travis. Now I want to specifically talk about Travis because every single deal nil deal that we've seen Travis sign seems to be with a black owned company, actively black. Black owned, Lanny Smith, owner, founder, Michael Strahan brand, obviously black owned, Michael Strahan, Greenwood Bank, black owned, Greenwood Bank, banking system, and then the J5 Coffee. Like this dude is, per, is like, I don't know how you can't be impressed with Travis. Like I, like, I just don't know how you can't walk away being impressed by that young man. We haven't seen him on the field much. Now he's got to get healthy. Shout out to him. I'm glad he's finally healthy. And the routes he's running and the, the way he's locking folks up. So we know he's going to ball on the field. But his business savvy and strategically picking these black-owned companies, bravo, young man. Bravo. That's all I got to say. Let, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. You can follow me on Facebook, Jeff Lighty Sports on Facebook. For the Facebook lovers, it's Jeff Lighty Sport, Sports on Facebook. Also, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at JLighty7. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Peace.